It's going to be a long journey home, boys. Miami, Florida to Salt Lake City, Utah. One day, 11 hours. As you guys know, I... Ow! Ow! The camera just hit me in the face when I hit the brakes. As you guys know, I bring you the most unbiased videos on the internet. Rev it up. Launch control downhill. Go! Whoa! Let's go, CA. Let's go! Oh, that was three seconds! Oh, that's a new record for me. I want to set a world record launch control downhill. We'll see. My face still hurts. So I'm going to be okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And welcome back to the beautiful state of Florida. Boys, we got to race 2,000 miles home to the state of Utah. I'm hearing that hotels might be shutting down. Restaurants might be closing. The Washington and California borders might be closing as well. What if they shut down all state borders and I got stuck here in the state of Florida? I want to get home as fast as I can. It's this weird balance though because I planned this trip so far in advance. I have a bunch of people I'm meeting up with along the way and I don't want to miss out on that but at the same time we're going to kind of sort of have to expedite it. So if some stuff doesn't make sense, if some stuff seems rushed, that's why. I hope everybody's staying safe. My heart goes, my heart goes out to all the people in Italy, all my subscribers in Italy. I love you. Uh, I hope you're staying safe as well. Uh, we're going to be having an awesome day today in Florida, but then we are getting home to Utah starting like tonight. We are driving as far as we can. Welcome here to South Florida Jeeps. Are you kidding me? One axle, two axles. Whoa. <laughs> this, this is is why we are still in South Florida. I present to you the Jeep Wrangler JL 6x6 from South Florida Jeeps. This thing is so sick. We're here at South Florida Jeeps, the epicenter of Jeep builds here in the state of Florida. Every single car here, every single Jeep here is just fully customized. The stuff they're doing here is awesome. Obviously they're specializing in the 6x6. I'm building my 6x6. It's gonna be done here kind of sort of soon. And we're gonna drive that one just because I've never even been in a 6x6. We've had some good views on the channel, but this right here, two axles, cool boys, but three axles, it's gonna change our lives. Oh, it looks, I'm so excited. Uh, we get home to Utah, I think in like a week, and we're chopping, like as soon as we get home, we are chopping. Here's the rendering of my Gladiator 6x6. You can see that like rear roll cage. Check out the rear roll cage on this thing. That just adds like that tough factor that you need. Fully custom interior. So here's what I'm thinking. Imagine you swap out the tan for purple and the black for white and you put the logos right there. That's kind of like the touch we need because right now we're so focused on the exterior, but I think we need an interior to match. What do you guys think? Purple with white? I think, I mean obviously it has to be. It has to be purple with white. Hmm, so many ideas percolating. Percolating, that was a big word. I don't think we've ever used that on the vlog. That thing is ridiculous. It's fast too. So this is a hybrid six by six. Yo. Okay boys, this is gonna be insane. I am getting hyped for my six by six. That is ridiculously cool. Yo. The wow factor this thing has on the road. That is insanity. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait for mine to be done. I'm still like two to three months out. We're gonna start cutting the frame as soon as I get home. What a beast. This six by six looks so good in that rear view camera. Wow, okay, we gotta turn left right here. This thing is absolutely insane. I have never in my entire life seen a truck or a Jeep with more road presence than this. It has six 40 inch tires. <laughs> I'm getting so excited for mine to be done. So you can pick up one of these six by six from South Florida Jeeps for right around $100,000. And the lead time is right around four weeks. The proportions of this six by six are perfection. There's a lot of six by sixes that honestly, don't look very good. It looks like it has a tumor on the back end. Whereas this looks almost factory. Like it just looks so complete. I can't get over how sick it is. We want to jump it. We're not going to, we want to. So this six by six is based off a JL Wrangler. When you see the back of the Jeep, it's cool. But when it turns, that is the ultimate flex right there. You can see the proportions next to that Ford. That thing is wicked. We're going to dump the Sia Corvette right here. We're going to hop in the six by six. We'll be back soon. We got the Range Rover and we got the Lamborghini Euros right there. They look like little baby cars. Are you, they're so small. Could you guys imagine if you spent $220,000 on a Lamborghini Euros, you're walking back to your car, trying to flex hard, and this is parked next to you? If there are any Lamborghini executives watching today's video, which I'm sure there's not, please build a six by six Euros. That would be amazing. I, I still do want one of these. 
but this thing has so much more of a wow presence. There are so many Euruses in South Florida. I think in yesterday's video we saw like 19 of them, but this is the only 6x6 we've ever seen on the channel. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in the state of Florida. I don't know what it is, boys. There's something about a 6x6. Six six. It just has a wow factor. I was following in the Corvette. Nobody cared. Everyone's checking this thing out. The beach is closed here in Fort Lauderdale. That is incredible. Till April 12th. You can't help but smile when you're driving this thing. I have never been in a vehicle that has gotten so much attention. Like the Sierra Corvette, it's brand new. It's very first to market. Nobody cares around this thing. It is insane. This is an absolute monster. And it drives. It drives totally normal, just like a standard Jeep. You just have six wheels. It's a Fort Lauderdale police Jeep that South Florida Jeeps actually built. That's so sick. I know the idea of a 6x6 Jeep triggers the purists, but Jeep Nation, you have to admit that is cool. Isn't Jeeps all about having fun and making it your own? You have to, like, it's, it's, it's sick. We were just about to leave, but look what just showed up. This one is even more sinister. It looks so good in this black finish. It's on the 38s, so it has a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder that powers the front axle, the middle axle, and it's actually battery-powered for the rear axle. I'm going to show you guys the battery pack right in here. It's tucked away behind this seat, which is just like so. That is crazy. Obviously, it's basically impossible to dyno a 6x6. So as far as power, we don't really know, but maybe 500, maybe 600 horsepower. You can see the, the, the motor right there that powers that rear axle. Obviously, I'm not technical. I would try to explain this, but I, I, I don't know how to. Enjoy this view of the 6x6, because the next time you see it, it's going to be mine in about two or three months. Full up, boys, go, 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 whoa! Whoa, chill, we gotta chill. So we are headed off to Orlando, Florida, two hours, 56 minutes, 212 miles. We are headed to go see Tavarish. Oh, ooh, 650S right there, nice. We're going 60 miles an hour in a 70, and that's because we have this Model S pulling a motorcycle. Interesting, hmm. Dun, 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 we have officially arrived to Tavarish's garage. This place is so sick. Whoa, we got the 355 that caught on fire, but we got the V12, Marcielago. What's up, dude? How's it going? <laughs> Is this a Ferrari? It's a McLaren. Oh. It's a, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a project between the partnership. Oh, okay. It's, it's weird. So do the doors go up? 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 Not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh oh. There might be butterfly doors coming to a C8 Corvette in no, the No, 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 do not do that. Don't do that, okay? I will be responsible. If today's video gets nine likes, we're doing it. <laughs> no, nine, no. we just need nine likes. You'll down, smash down, like, down, no, down, no, 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 no. Dude, I don't need that, the algorithm. Oh. Lambos, we have JDM stuff over here. We have uh, Matt Farah's Million Mile Lexus. Ooh, uh, now nice. it's my Million Mile Lexus. Have half a 355 Ferrari that's getting a three rotor. <laughs> Uh, we have a Bentley over there that uh, I absolutely hate, and next to it is a McLaren 675LT, at least most of one. What happened here? Uh, Tyler Hoover had this car, and he didn't, he didn't do a recall. So it should have done the recall. <laughs> Tyler, what were you thinking, bro? <laughs> Very Jeez. important to do the recall on Ferrari. Yes, and you bought this, why? I, I'm curious to hear this. Why did you buy this? Because it was cheap and I wanted a Ferrari. Honestly, that makes sense. Yes. That makes sense. And you're converting this to a Berlinetta? Yes. So I have that over there. That's uh, half of a Ferrari 355. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So I just, I just want to point out, you have half of a Ferrari 355 right here. Right. And you have half of a Lamborghini Countach right sort there? Sort of. So that was a, that's a kit car uh, half. So that was a Pontiac Fiero that I bought for 300 bucks on Copart. What is going on with this? Uh, well, it's a uh, pristine example. So you can, Whoa, bro! Yeah. Wait, I mean, listen. <laughs> what happened to this? Because it appears to have rear-ended somebody. I, slash... I think the Hulk like just smashed it. Uh, it was. It actually spun around and hit a tree oh, uh, in the back right there. So this titanium exhaust, it's uh, titanium crap now. Wow. So yeah, yeah. So it basically. And punched... you bought this? Why again? I'd love to hear. Because I wanted a McLaren in this one. <laughs> 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 I'm giving Freddie a hard time, but Freddie and I have been friends for a while. Yeah. I just, yeah, this is, yeah. I'm excited. This is like yeah. the biggest build on your channel right now. This is yes. starting soon. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I actually just unveiled this car uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, I just got the parts in. Ooh. So uh, How much did that cost? A lot, a lot, actually. It turns out they didn't make too many of these. They only made 500 in the world. So uh, getting parts for a car like this is not easy. So I'm buying dinner. Uh, That's what we're getting at. We are going to do Lambo stuff. We're going to do Lambo yes, stuff. Yes, 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 yes. How do you actually get into the car? I don't know. So I parked it here, and I didn't think about this being here. Yeah. Um, well, somebody must have got out of the car when you parked it there, right? Was that you, Freddie, or was that somebody else? It, it was. It was me. I parked my own car. I swear. <laughs> so watch, watch this. It's you have to be very, very slender here. Wow. Okay. Uh, you have to kind of. You're actually making this easier usually than go, I thought. Usually, going butt first, but <laughs> it makes it. Ugh. Yep, yep. I, I see you guys typing away. I need a mercy. This is so sick. Gated manual, and look at all the forged carbon fiber, the orange stitching. Yep. This is so sick. So if you look up. Above you. Oh, whoa. See this? Yeah, it's all uh, suede. We're getting flexed on. <laughs> I need that. Oh, I need yeah. I need a lot of things. I need a Mercy Lago and a gated manual. Well, I have the gated manual Gallardo, but a gated Mercy is insane. It's just like the C8 Corvette. Yeah, but can your C8 Corvette do this? <sighs> and it's also a DVR. <sighs> no, Freddy, you can't do that. That's insane. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. And that's aftermarket? It is aftermarket. I just got it off Amazon, yeah. Really? Also, does your CA Corvette sound like this? You're killing me, Freddy. Are you kidding me? How could you do me like that? That is insane. There's nothing like this sound. Oh! And you're a good driver. Get carried away. It's in my nature. In the last vlog, I sent one of yours, and now I want a Mercy Lago. I don't know what to do. Oh my goodness. I cannot hear anymore. Thanks, Freddy. Appreciate it. I'm just kidding. The Mercy Lago. Mercy Lago. Mercy Lago. I got something. For it's you. my birthday. Did you know that? It's actually my birthday today. Is it actually? Is it actually? <laughs> it's not my birthday. Well, since, no. since you're a birthday boy <laughs> and you got the C8, I figured we oh. could do, we oh. could do a little bit of wrenching. Whoa. Wait, are we V12 swapping it? No. Could you imagine? Could you do that? I have another question for you. Yes. If I bought a Lamborghini Urus, yes. could you swap a V12 from a Murcielago into a Urus? Probably not, but. <sighs> Uh, oh, dude, I almost, I, I was going to buy one on my phone on eBay right now if you said yes. Uh, yes, no, no, I, I would not do that. Wait, no. what are your plans for this? I don't know. Uh, I just bought it because I figured that um, another Lamborghini engine would probably come in handy at some point. I'm starting to sense a trend. It's, I think that was a sarcastic woo. It's not a nice. B12. But, wait for it. It's not bad, okay? Is it's gonna sound better soon. to be back there? Yeah. Really? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Are you yeah, sure? No, I'm pretty sure, I think so. I think on, a, on a Corvette? Are yeah. you sure? It's new. It's a 2020, and I have 1,989 miles on it already. There goes the warranty. <laughs> You're the warranty, though. I, I am, If I this am. car breaks, I'll call you. Just leave it here. Just leave it here, dude. It's but fine. it hasn't broken yet. <laughs> the day is young, my friend. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Right here, we got the Mercy Lago right there and right there. That is so sick. But 1,999 miles. Dun, dun, dun. Wait for it. Come on, come on, come on. 2,000 miles. There we go, boys. 2,000 miles. We still have like 2,000 more to go. And just like that, we have arrived here to Gainesville, Florida, boys. Okay, so that was a really, really bad joke. If you've not clicked away, you can click away soon because today's video is effectively over. Tomorrow, the goal is to get to Houston, Texas. We gotta put like 800 miles, 12 hours, a good day in the car. We are racing home to Utah. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, though. If you did, like, subscribe, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over, and I'm out.